to implement the me mediator pattern, we first create an interface that ha has two methods for publishing and subscribing to the mediator class. Next, we would create the mediator class and there we also store all the callbacks. And then we can create some services like an email notifier that each time some data is inserted or updated sends out an email or we have a data logger that logs each time when data inserted when data is inserted but not when it's updated and we of course also have some data just some entity again with very basic properties and then we can go ahead we create a new mediator, we couple them with our logger and our email notifier and then we go to our code and we call each time the, the mediator when something happens. This is a very rudimentary example but it's a perfect implementation of this mediator pattern. The first thing I asked myself was, isn't this the observer pattern? But it is not the observer pattern. There are, are, are quite a few differences to the observer pattern. The observer pattern promotes decentralized commun communications. Since subjects and observers communicate directly with each other. While here in the mediator pattern, the data does not know anything about the, the email notifier or the logger. Also the mediator doesn't know anything about them. It's just we have to call the mediator to, to send our events out to those who are subscribed. So in, we have reduced the coupling while in the observer pattern there is a very tight coupling between the subjects and the observers. It also makes it harder to scale the application up because we each time have to add new observers or sub subjects to the code. While adding new components or changing the interactions um, is much easier here in the email notifier. If we, for example, don't want the email notifier um, to send emails when data is inserted, we just delete this code. We don't have to do anything else. There are no errors, no reference, nothing. So the one thing the observer pattern does better, it's more easy. It's more simple to understand while the mediator pattern is a bit more complex to develop. There's also a very popular open source library that uh, helps using this mediator technique for net applications that's called mediator. It's, it's, uh, it's already named like mediator, it's just missing, missing the, the O and the R is written in, in uh, uppercase. So thank you very much.